Hello, this will be a short video um, being made on request of how to use elephants properly, since apparently people have difficulty with it. So here is a video um, that will show you how to do it properly. Um, I'll be using Raga as the uh, test nation to do this, since generally people consider LA the hardest to expand in. Um, so we'll be dealing with heavy cav and crossbows. Um, I've created a god for this. Have some whisper. That'll work. Okay, so turn on income boxes first off. Uh, profit this guy, and we'll just like, move him randomly. Don't really care. I'm gonna play this as if it was a real game, so I'm not gonna like min max for expansion. I do things like recruit mages um, and other normal stuff like star forts. So I'll start this. Um, depending on what nation you are, sometimes your starting army is serviceable. Uh, Ragas is, so I'm just going to make a bunch of these guys to add into the starting army before um, going for elephants. So we'll do that. All right, that's everything for turn one. I'm not going to use marks either because those kind of um, will set off the numbers. All right, um, so let's go ahead and stick this guy in here. Script you to cast some stuff, um, and then we'll do this. Okay, so what do we got? We got Zots and a shitload of resources. So the reason I turned the boxes on so I can see hammers at a glance. Um, that province, yeah, statues, no, don't touch that. Uh, light infantry, militia, militia archer, and light infantry. Okay, so this is a lot of gold and a lot of resources, um, so we're going to attack that. Uh, with this default formation that I picked right here, this unscripted, unscripted thing, oops, hold attack closest, this will work perfectly fine against your average infantry generic indie province. Um, to give you first hit, and my javelins will throw things at them. Um, also, Light Infantry, Militia, it could be a Hill Wizard province, so we'll see if my army dies immediately, which would be funny. Okay, and then we're going to start some Elephants. Let's see what we got. Okay, was well, not Hill Wizards, it was just a really rich province with crap in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and show this. So we're positioning here. So here's our guys, blah blah blah. And as you see, the Indies move right in, first hit them, guys run. Hit them some more, next squad runs, and that's exactly how you want it to work. So they all run, um, and I lose no one. And that's basically how expansion should be, ideally. Um, it never is like that in, in real games, but in test games, I'm sure this will work with flying colors. Uh, one point of PD, so look what else we got. Um, more crap. Lots of little crappy provinces. Okay, so we're going to go for the smallest one, um, and that has a scout in it, so it's going to be more accurate, so it's probably going to be easy to clear. Um, I could go for these to increase my cap circle income even more, but no, I'll skip it. So we'll just go that way. Um, got our mage here. Uh, summer is starting, so I would have to make one of the neutral guys. So we're going to make this because it flies. Um, how many of these do I have? One elephant and one infantry. Okay, so we need more elephants and more infantry. So now that's three elephants, um, four elephants. And I'll explain why I'm making infantry with them as well in a minute. So, uh, oh, and the other thing, when you hit your first province, um, when you're doing elephants without, or even with an awake god, you want to be able to recruit um, commanders, so hit an independent province that you know will let you do so. Um, because if you're hitting like uh, tribes or something, you could get shamans, which you can't recruit, and you need those guys to lead your stupid elephants around. Okay, so I think that's this turn. Um, we're good. Oh, I gotta check my research. No research evocation because I'm called Raga. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Okay, next province. Oberkdorf. No hill wizards, this should be a stomp. And first hit. Oh, nobody's routing. Gonna lose a few guys this time. Oh, and I got one of these. Those little stupid Fravashi guys that are kind of silly. Okay. So I probably lost some guys. Yeah, I lost four of the normal infantries. That's an acceptable loss, but that's only because the Indies didn't break. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what we got next. Um, I guess we'll go back here. You don't want to run into... To, that will be Heavy Cav as well. I do not want to touch Heavy Cav with this army. It will get wrecked unless I get very lucky. Um, yeah, so we'll move that into Heavy Cav. Or into the uh, the province center cap circle to increase resources. Uh, move this more on back to lead the elephants, um, which I will be sending out next turn. And what can we make here? Make a scout. And make another commander. Yeah, and next turn I'll probably be starting my first fort. Okay, so we got three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, uh, turn sorcerer, and some more of these guys. Oh yeah, my scout's just sitting here doing nothing. Um, yeah, go over there or something. It doesn't matter, I just put one AI on this big map so it doesn't uh, fuck with my expansion. Because um, I don't want to get hemmed in or be forced to start trying to deal with annoying AI while I'm doing a test game. Okay, so that should be that turn. Yeah, okay. And in a real game, you should be bidding mercenaries. Um, lots of people forget to do this. Um, always bid mercenaries that can kill indies, because you're going to be losing guys that you recruit normally anyway. So with the end, or with the mercenaries, you can usually um, buy them for cheaper than they cost if you recruited them. And if you do it properly, by the third battle, they should be mostly dead. Unless they're really good indies, in which case you just hire them again and get more provinces. Um, people who hire lots of indies will have better expansion, or hire lots of mercs will have better expansion than people who don't. So hire them. Uh, looks like the heavy infantry, for some reason, were in the front. Sometimes um, indie squad positioning is random, so you'll get that to happen and you'll lose more guys than expected. Um, and then HP route, don't have to deal with the crossbows. And we're starting to get low on guys here, um, but I can probably still take another province before I have to send them home. Do we have anything that I can take here? Uh, I can try this one. It's really not a good idea, though. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so we got 1,200 gold, so I'm going to make our first fort. I'm going to send this guy over here, and we're going to build our first elephant squad. Um, it's going to be in Dezat, so that's going to make the formation weird, but... Oh well. Uh, Zots are very easy to script for. You do this. You make a big shame cube, you put your commander in the middle, and that's it. And the Zots will come, do nothing, um, and then route. So I'll go ahead and do that. Not a good good test, but uh, I'll hit other provinces, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to build another elephant squad. Um, so we'll start making them. Oh, I'm starting a fort, so I don't have resources this turn. So I'm going to build the indie f or the uh, the infantry fodder instead, um, since they're resource intensive anyway, and then I can build uh, more of the elephants on the following turn. Okay, and then do I have enough to pump this PD? I do like to. I know Kit Fox will enjoy this if you watch this video. I do like to pump PD when I'm making forts if they cost so fucking much. Um, my forts are a thousand gold and I have misfortune, so bad things can happen. Um, it hasn't spread here yet, so I will just leave it. Um, if my scales do not push misfortune here, and the fort can be built all by itself, that's perfect. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I think that is good for this turn. Yeah. All right. My evocation finished. Um, my little dudes. Let's see what happened with my starting army. Uh. Let's see what the positioning looks like. Yeah, militia in front, that's perfect. They're going to route. Light infantry are going to route. And then that should HP route the archers. And that's perfect. Lose no guys. Let's see how these Zots went. Um, these, this should be a stop. Zots have difficulty hitting stuff with armor. Yeah, so they tickle the elephants, and then the elephants kill all of them. The end. Oh, we got Skeletal Spammer. Okay, so that's going to actually possibly suck. No, it was fine. Um, Zots can random D2, and apparently the one in the the uh, this guy, random D2, just to fuck with me. Let's, did he actually hurt my elephants? Uh, no, no afflictions. Okay. Um, not going to touch the statues. They will destroy everything I have. Um, we're going to go this way. Militias, heavy infantry, and archers. Okay. All right, so first off, archers. So I want to screen for archers. So we're going to put a guy up here in front. Um, it'll be on hold and attack. 
and then we'll put these guys up here. So militia, these are shield militia, so they should have like 11 or 10 AP. So I'm going to put these guys back, one, two, three, four, four squares. Um, commander goes on the top, because if it goes horribly wrong and the elephant's route, which can happen, it's highly unlikely, um, if your commander's standing behind them in the center, then you will lose your commander like a moron. So put your commanders on the edges, mages on the edges, whenever you're using elephants. Never, never, ever put things behind your elephants that you care about, because inevitably they will route and you will lose all of your things. Okay, so, you know, we'll scout whatever. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, more crap. Crappy, crappy guys for me to hit. Um, I'm going to go for these deer tribe, actually. Because that's a lot of gold there. Or decent gold. 86 gold. I don't know it's here, um, but I should be able to kill either one, I think. Let me look. Yeah. Um, and point of province defense. Misfortune scale did not spread, so we're safe. Um, I would be building scouts too, so let's do that. And make some of these. And what are we up to? Okay, that's right. Elephants. Uh, more elephants. Okay, so I would make another one of these seraphs, and we're going to make some more elephants. So that's five, which is four or five is usually what I like. Um, and if you get some attrition, then you can just combine two squads. It's not a big deal. So then I'll put up a bunch uh, more right here. And that should do it, I think. Yeah. So, enter. Okay, so starting army still wandering around. Let's see what they manage to do. They should kill these deer tribe. Um, tribes are generally weak. However, if they choose not to rout, they generally are in large numbers and hit decently hard, and they'll fuck you up. But it looks like these guys, there's not enough of them for them to matter, and they'll just run away. Yeah. Did I even lose a guy? No. Um, now for the elephants. Um, so what should happen is I should get first hit, these guys will walk right into range, and then my elephants will step on them and they'll run. Elephants will hopefully only be attacked maybe once. Oh, I fucked up that. Okay, so that was a really bad position. Um, the Indies were squatted, or squads were towards the bottom, so my elephants actually didn't get first hit. Uh, fortunately, that didn't matter. The reason I put that one squad in the middle was to try and pull them to the center for positioning for the elephants to kill them. Um, but I got them anyway, even though the positioning wasn't good. Anyway, okay, so no losses, no losses, that's how it should be. Um, what do we got next? Heavy Cav. Okay, so we'll do a, a harder province, so let's run into the Heavy Cavalry on purpose. So this is positioned for, what is that, four spaces? One, two, three, four. Um, heavy Cav are 16 AP instead of 11 or 12, so we're going to push them back that many more squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and then I'll put my decoy back a little bit too. Four more spaces. Um, yeah, go behind. And that should work. No, nope, my point of PD. Misfortune is still not spread. Now let's start scouting randomly. Make some more guys. And, um, oh, I've got enough gold. I would start looking for second fort site. Um, where would I put it? I would actually fort these because Zots are amazing. So I'm going to make a guy here, move him there, and fort the Zots next turn. Or in the turn after next. Um, and I have elephants now, right? Yeah. Okay, let's put them in there, a little shame cube. So I can move them out. Um, where will I go? I'll go... I would I would normally go for higher gold. Um, where's some higher gold? These guys will be higher gold, so I'm going to go this way. That way I have more choices. Okay. Um, so now I've got two elephant groups and my starting army. The starting army actually has done really well. Um, by now I would expect them to be spent, but they're still alive and kicking. So let's just let them... Attack the Barbarians. Um, barbarians have 12 AP, which is a little bit more. So put them back two spaces. One, two. And move this guy over here so he doesn't get killed. Hopefully. Although if I lose my profit, I don't care. That's just a commander. Um, and what are we doing? More elephants, of course. Um, I have no spares, so we're just going to start slamming them out. Four, five. Oops. 
Um, and I actually will not ex attack with this. I mean, I could um, and build. Actually, I'll do that. I'll just do it as an example. So that will be enough, guys. So we'll start building some of these. Militia, yes. I, they will work perfectly fine as elephant fodder. All you need is a unit that um, it has a body so that for the morale calculations, the larger the squad, the less likely it is to route. So that way you have a bunch of guys in the back who are not taking damage, um, which will help the elephants out when they do get damaged because the elephants will be in front and your shit will be in the back. Um, they should never actually enter combat. Um, ideally, I want the slowest possible unit so they don't catch up or a unit that I can use later, like these, because these would be my mainstay unit after um, the elephants uh, become obsolete, which would be in a few more turns. Um, well, should become obsolete. There are a lot of nations have difficulties with elephants, and if you're in a game and you're using elephants and you run into one of those people, you should just immediately start stomping all over their shit, um, because elephants ruin PD really badly, and if they don't have good troops or uh, can't get magic early enough to stop you, there's really no reason for you not to take free land because their stuff um, will likely have less defenses than an ind independent one would. So um, why would you not take it? Okay, move him down. Oh yeah, it's already making these guys, making these guys. Um, still no misfortune, which is perfect. If I'm lucky, I won't even have to worry about it. Um, and what else we got here? This is actually a pretty rich province, too. So this would be the next fort. And then, I don't know, I probably want one, like, down here somewhere. Anyway, next turn. Okay, so this is our guy going to barbarians. Barbarians, of course, are dickheads. If they route, it'll be almost no damage. If they don't route, then they will fuck me up pretty bad. They'll probably kill everyone if they don't route. And there's actually a decent number, so this could be bad. Yeah. This is probably going to be bad. Barbarians wrecking my guys. Yeah, too many of them, and they're not running away. And that's the end. Okay. Will he get away? Yes. So I lost everyone but the prophet. So let's move him home so he can lead some stuff. Or make a temple, one or the other. Um, and then the other battle, which was elephants into heavy calf. How many heavy calf we got? That's a decent number. So as you can see, heavy calf are going to come right into perfect range, or close to it, and then elephants are going to step on them. They, they didn't route, so they did kill one with lances, which happens with cavalry. Um, nothing you do about it. And now they should all route after this next stomp. Splat, splat, splat. Okay. Was that archers back there? Oh yeah, the the horse archers. Who are pointless and really bad. Never make those. Okay, so they win. Um, heavy calf gone. I lost one elephant, which is acceptable. Um, these will still work perfectly fine with four elephants. In fact, I'm just going to send them straight into the other heavy calf, because they'll win. This is actually a smaller group. Uh, militia and light calf. There's probably heavy calf in there as well, hiding. So let's go ahead and grip these guys. Four heavy calf. Uh, one guy to decoy. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where we want them to be. You stand back there. And assuming there are heavy calf, I think there will be. Probably just uh, like, you know, one to five ish. And then um, they should route instantly and probably not kill an elephant, which is perfect. Uh, move this down to Fort the Zots. Um, what do we got up here? I could fort that. So I've already got this fort. And the only reason I'm spacing them, actually, you know what, I should fort here. So that way all of my stuff can move to everything else. Uh, it's less of a concern because I'm Koldraga, so all of my shit flies. Or at least most of my stuff will. Um, my good mages will all fly, and I'm making a lot of them. Um, and what do I have here? Oh, that's right. So I've got these this guy, and I was going to move him up and get him in get over here. And I was making militia. Where was I making militia? Okay, right here. So he's going to go up there, and he'll pick up the militia. So let's make some more. And militia suck. Their map move one, but I don't care. I just need them to exist with the elephants. And how many do I have? Uh, six. Plus, I've got two, eight, eight fodder, so we'll make another four. That should be good. 
All right, so he's scripted for heavy cav. I would be making scouts, sending them all over. Make scouts. If you don't scout your neighbors, you're opening yourself up to be killed because you don't know what your neighbor's doing. But at least scout your immediate neighbors. Ideally, you should have enough scouts, like every one or two provinces, so you can see the flags on every uh, place to figure out what vaguely is happening in the world. Um, for neighbors, I would rather have a uh, scout on every single one of their forts if they're not patrolling, along with uh, scouts in areas where you think they would be mustering troops if they were going to invade you. Basically figure out if you were going to invade you and you were them, where would you put your troops before you move them into attack? And make sure you're scouting that place so that if they do start to mass shit there, um, you can stop them, hopefully, or at least react. Okay, so... Those guys are attacking heavy cav. These guys are going into more heavy cav. And he's coming home. Do I have anything else? No. And what is it? Late fall. Next turn. Vacation finished. Um, expanding. This guy was heavy cav and heavy infantry, I believe. Yep. And stomp, stomp, stomp. And they all die at the end. And the other one should be... I think I spotted... Light cav, which usually indicates heavy. Yep, and there's the three heavy cavalry. We're going to not do anything, probably. Yeah, all dead. And also all dead. And goodbye. So no losses anywhere, which is great. Um, so where are we going to go next? Okay, first off, these guys. Picking up my shitty militia. You will be the arrow fodder. That's your new job. Go to the front. Put him up here. And where should we go? Crossbowmen and heavy cav, the worst combination. No one likes those in LA. Unless you're an elephant person, then you don't care because they die like everything else. Um, so we'll position for heavy cav. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And he goes back there. And they should curb stomp them. Um, the crossbows, if you don't have an arrow decoy, crossbows will fuck you up. It doesn't matter what you have. So hopefully, I have only one guy, and Indies will always fire closest. So they're going to shoot at him. Um, it's only one guy, so he's got a decent chance to not be hit at all. And he's got thick armor and a shield. So even if he does get hit, there's a chance he'll be okay. Also, these guys are pretty beefy. So... Hopefully he won't route. He'll just kind of stand there and get shot at instead of the elephants. And by the time he either routes or is killed, hopefully the elephants will have killed everything else. And doesn't matter what you're using, you want one of these. If you just put your your whole squad in and there's something big in the front, the crossbows are going to shoot them, and they're crossbows, so they're going to hurt you. All right, so he's going there. Do I have more good stuff to hit? Um, i got a farm up here. That's probably worth a lot of gold. Militias and archers, jaguar tribe. Jaguar tribe will be easy. Um, when you're going into swamps, remember swamps fuck up AP. Um, it won't matter for these, they're slingers, so I'm just going to position them like normal. One, two, three, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four. Stick these guys up front. Move your ass over there. And send him into there. Okay. Wasteland, that's going to be worth no gold unless there's a gold mine on it, so prioritize those last unless you actually need a wasteland. However, there's a site here because of the little volcano. Um, in a real game, there's not a chance in hell I would get that unless the player up here is really bad. Um, but we'll go ahead and go that way anyway. So we're going to go into the wasteland. One, two, three, four for the militia. Or rather, for that composition, it's got Indies. Um, militia without shields are actually a little faster, but they're Militia. I don't care if they get first hit or not. They're not going to do anything except run away. Okay. Um, did I start this? No. Start this fort. Um, my misfortune has spread, um, so we're going to PD this up. Kid Fox will be proud. Um, Zot's PD. Eh, Zot's PD is pretty bad um, because they're cowards. However, it's a cave, so if barbarians attack, um, I should be able to kill them all. What do we got over here? Misfortune still has not spread, so I'll just keep my guy building happily with one PD. And 
What do I have here? No more elephants. Did I stop making elephants? Wait, one, two, yes, three. Three squads of elephants. So um, in a normal game, I'm only going to make three squads of elephants because if I go overboard on elephants and I run into someone who has a counter them, I just lost the game because once you have a counter to elephants, they become worthless um, for anything but spell sponge. So this is what I would make probably. So we'll start spamming these guys. Um, these are really good uh, infantry if you need somebody to stand in a line um, with well, withstand some crossbow fire and hold, which they'll do a great job at that for these guys to wreck with either air elementals or thunder strike, which would be my bread and butter as this nation. Two turns, so that means I need to put a lab there uh, next turn, so that I can make a guy. And we'll go ahead and put it up to ten, which is my normal default fort uh, PD. I could probably leave it actually at one. We'll just eh, we'll put it at four, so that way it, it displays as one guy and his loyal henchmen. Um, so sometimes somebody will call the winds or call the wild on it to try and clear it. But four PD um, will kill that usually because uh, birds and wolves are really bad at actually fighting. Uh, what do we got PD PD PD. So everything's PD'd up. I'm making my guys, and we're up to early winter. So, next turn. Okay, I'm sure three battles. What are we attacking here? Oh, more heavy calf. Okay. Oh, yeah, crossbow heavy calf. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, they actually didn't route. Some brave heavy calf. Everybody routed. Okay. I lost nobody. Next, we've got. What was this? Slingers? Okay, slingers are just going to die. They're not going to do anything. Yeah, die, die, die. Elephants own slingers. Even little shitty elephants without armor, um, like Banderlog or whatever, they'll own slingers. And then the last one. What do we got here? Oh, this is the wasteland with some crappy infantry and archers, which will also just die a lot. Die, die, die. And as you see, okay, let me watch do that one again. Okay, so. This is an example of the AI targeting being stupid. Okay, so the elephants stomped, instantly routed the militia. Now, ideally, since they're unscripted, they should attack these next since they're closest. Well, watch what they do anyway. They go chasing after the militia for some reason. They're routed, guys. Why are you still attacking them? So these guys get up, they kill my decoy, and now they're going to go for the next closest, uh, which are these. This is another reason why I want slow infantry. Um, because if they were fast and they were over here, and these guys are going to look for their closest target, if that closest target is this guy, they're going to walk over there and stab him, and then I'm going to lose. So you want them to target your troops, not your commanders. Fortunately, they go after my, my snail infantry that's chasing the elephants, and then everybody HP routes, and that's the end. We got some event that we don't care about, doesn't matter. What was I doing over here? I know I had a fort. There we go. So we're going to make a lab. Uh, Ragged temples are double costed. Fortunately, all of my good mages do not require temples. So priority one is to get a research base up, which is just temples. So I wouldn't, Or just labs. I wouldn't make any temples at all. Um, and then over here, we're building our next castle. Let me move him back. Just in case there's a barbarian attack, I don't want... Or knights or whatever. I do not want this guy in the front. Um, so that way, if, when I, if I, or when I lose, he runs away and I don't lose a commander for no reason. Um, PD up here. What do we got? It's a farm. We're going to attack that because it's probably rich. Militia heavy infantry. What are we positioned for? We are positioned for cavalry, so we're going to move them back to four spaces. Two, three, four. And then over here, militias heavy infantry. You're going to scan. I think they're already positioned right. Yes. However, I lost my decoy. So I'm going to scan for uh, wounds and put whoever has the most wounds in the decoy squad. He is the lucky winner. Dominions is a brutal existence for the troops. Um, what we got here? Crossbows. And I think I'm already positioned for normal infantry. Yes, he does not have Battle Fright. In fact, he has a star, which is more morale. Good. So he'll hopefully weather the crossbow fire and not rout, so the elephants can kill everyone. Um, 
Let's see what we got next. And remember, I'm not bidding mercs. If I had mercs, I would have probably gotten at least another one or two provinces. Um, also, I do not have an Awake God, which is another one province per turn, assuming he flies. Um, if he doesn't fly, I would probably um, plan a, a pattern so he can walk without having to move to reposition. Okay. Uh, get another mage. Make you do that. Uh, put these guys on repeat. Okay, so I'm getting actually a fair number of these. Um, and as Raga, I would recruit those, and then one of these guys with lances. Which one was it? Uh, lance, 40 gold. Lance, 45 gold. Yeah, I would be buying the other ones. So we're going to. This doesn't even matter, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a Spurg. Um, okay, so we're going to recruit those. And we've got all of our elephants out doing things. We're up to winter. And as you see, I'm not even I'm not even worrying about expansion anymore. I'm building what would be the first army that I would attack with or defend myself. In Raga's case, I'm probably not going to um, rush anyone unless I'm elephant rushing them. I would just build these guys up to defend myself and try to start getting a pool of the uh, mages available because these guys are badass, and the more I have, the better. Um, they are weak to magic duel, but my god covers that, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, to level 2. Do I have any more things? Oh, my scout. Go over here. Another scout, go over there. Done. Next turn. Don't care what the AI is doing. Okay, so running into this farm with my elephants. And, oh, I didn't get first hit again. Infantry, it's harder um, if there's multiple squads because the AI will... It positions them generally around the center of the field but they can be slightly above or slightly below. Um, if they're weird like that, then I could miss the first hit. It's not as important for infantry, and usually cavalry will pull ahead, um, so you can first hit them more easily. The faster a thing is, the easier it is to calculate. Unless it's extremely fast, like stupid water indies, in which case um, there's like one space you can stand and hope you get first hit. So it doesn't look like I lost anything anywhere again. This was the crossbows, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's only like 10 of them. Missed first hit again. Barely. And everybody dies. Okay. Did I lose anybody? No. And for this one, didn't lose anybody either. And then the last one. Let's see what we get. Man, I'm missing a lot of these for infantry. When it lat matters the least, as, l as long as you get it for the uh, the cavalry and stuff that can actually hurt your elephants, which is mostly cavalry. Um, barbarians, for barbarians, I position them six back, um, and they're still dangerous. Barbarians are probably one of the most dangerous things to, to attack with elephants, or cavemen. Don't attack cavemen with elephants. Because if the barbarians do not rout, they will tear your elephants to tiny pieces in one turn and make them run away. Or... If your elephants do win, most of them are going to be limp or crippled, um, the ones that do survive, making that squad useless for further expansion. I got a stupid um, event that I don't care about. See, misfortune's good. Three points. Okay. So we've got our guys, and then one more turn till next year, and then I'll stop and we'll see where we stand. Okay. So this is done. Set these guys on repeat. And... Fly down here so you can make a lab, and I will start making uh, Kamazots until the fort finishes, and then flip it over to real mages. So I'll at least have some leaders for the Zots um, and some Death 1. Oh, actually, I have Death 2 random this guy. See, if this was a real game, I'd be really happy because I random Death 2 on the one guy I get per year, um, and the expansion has been excellent, and I'm extremely rich. 1553, um, and it's still year 1. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, crossbows. Okay, so we'll just leave them how they are. That should work. And what did we get here? See, I hate it when it does this. See that right there, that little site thing? That should indicate there's an exposed site. However, Dominions is a bad game, so it's not actually there. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. What do we got? Oh, I lost my, my decoy, so we need to make a new one. Put you down here. Okay. And militia heavy infantry. Bigger province, probably, or rather, 
province has no features. Maybe more gold, so we're going to go that way. Gold is the only consideration um, I have when I'm pick, pick, uh, picking out my expansion targets because you need gold as fast as possible to build infrastructure, to build mages, which is how you win games. Um, troops and resources do not win games. Okay, so I think that's everybody. And we'll send you out to do whatever. In a normal game, I would not be expanding like this usually in a big, ugly swath uh, because no one, there would be people here. So I would end up curving around and clearing all this crap, curving around, clearing all this crap. Um, the reason I prioritize going this expansion is because you want gold and there are farms. There's a farm cluster here. Um, so you want to go for those. Go for gold. Um, guess based on the province layout which direction will give you the most gold. Prioritize going in that direction so that you can get it. Um, actually, I'm going to need more commanders, so we'll start making some. Some of these guys back. Okay. So we're going to make a bunch of these. Sure, rep repeat that. Um, and repeat some of these night guys, because they're good. Okay. So, what does that give me? So we're almost to Evo 4. Um, he's back. Uh, what is he going to do? He is going to go over there and search for Holy. Um, and actually, I would start searching with these guys too. Do I have an S2? I do not. So, um, I will wait till I do have an S2 before I start searching because um, S1 doesn't if you look at the ratios if you're a nerd and you read the ratios of sight frequency s2 will catch almost 80 percent s1 will catch almost 30 percent so if i send one of these out i'm just gonna have to send an s2 later anyway to search out the province um because i want lots of pearls pearls are good they alchemize two for, for any one of other gems so they're more important in my opinion than any other gem type um, because you can turn them into whatever you need uh, they also random water too, but I don't care. Um, water is not that important to me as Raga. At least not with what I'm doing, or would be doing. doesn't matter at all in a test game, of course. Um, move these guys around. Yeah, go, go scout over somewhere, I don't care. Scout up there. Okay, I think this is the last turn. And then we're done with year one, and that'll be the end of this. Okay, end turn. And let's see what we got. Expansion into shitty indies no one cares about. It's first hit. First hit. Yeah, they kill everything. Lose. Oh, I, they hit my decoy, so I'd have to replace him with the spare troops in the buffer squad. Okay. What do we got here? Probably more stupid indies. Yes. Oh, crossbows. Didn't get first hit. They hit my decoy. Fortunately, he lived. Um, if he hadn't... Here, let me start that over. Okay. So elephants go up there. As you can see, crossbows are shooting at this one poor guy who's just standing there. He's crippled, which is perfect, because you don't want your decoy, uh, decoy squad to get into melee. So he his job is to stand there um, and not move. And he can only move one space a turn. So... He is perfect at his job. So he's just sitting there. Crossbows are shooting at him. Elephants killed these. And if you notice, they did what they're supposed to. Uh, next closest squad is this guy. So they come up there. And the elephants come and rescue my heavy infantry. Now the crossbows are still going to shoot at him. See? Instead of shooting my elephants. Because I don't want my elephants to get limps or anything. Don't hit my elephants. And that's the end of that. Is that this battle? I think. Yeah. And then the third one. Let's see what we got here. Elephants going into more infantry and archers. Garbage. Didn't get first hit. Doesn't matter. Elephants stop everything. And everyone routes the end. How many did I lose? Nothing. Um, order event for some gems. Um, plus 10 PD because my uh, scales haven't spread there yet, so I don't have misfortune. And that's pretty much the it. We're up to spring year... Year two, so let's see how many provinces we've got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, fuck. Bad at math. Incredibly bad at math. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 provinces. Um, and that's just elephants. I did not have an awake god. Um, just elephants in my starting army. Starting army got, what, like three or four? I think they got four. They got this, 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 which is really good. Um, starting army, if it's a decent one, I only expect two or three provinces from them. What else can you expect from the guys? Um, and then we've got the beginnings of a, a good screening squad. I want like 80 of those and some cavalry on the flanks. And then once I have that, I would probably um, just spam uh, some of these guys. Attack rear on um, with flyers is good, even when they're shitty ones, because if they hit mages or commanders, they just won you the battle. And then I would make some of these because... For some reason, Raga gets the best Kaelian archers in the game because they have composite bows instead of normal short bows like all the rest. Um, that's because Raga is basically what Abyssia and Kalem wish they could have uh, in many respects in LA. Although Kalem is good in their own right, Abyssia is still shit because they're Abyssia. No. Never mind. Anyway, that's the end of the video. We got our, prop our good expansion. My god didn't wake up, but he's S7. Um, he had no relevancy for expanding. Uh, he did have the scales I need. Since I have armored elephants, I need prod 3, not negotiable. Otherwise, there's no way I'm going to get enough elephants to expand. Um, if you're a nation without armored elephants, you can actually usually get by uh, with neutral production or um, maybe production 1 or so, even a little sloth if you're feeling lucky. However, if you're a monkey nation, um, you probably don't want... Uh, to have your god asleep because your starting army is worthless garbage to the point that I don't even try and expand with them. I'm probably just going to stick them in as decoy units. Um, so Mercata, or Mercata to stand in the front, uh, catch arrows, and then use the Atavi to mix with the elephant squads to provide morale buffers. Um, and then I would have an awake god to clear my cap circle and get me some resources, in which case I could afford sloth. Um, and then who else is Elephant Nations? Oh, Kalem. Um, I hate their elephants. They're 120 gold instead of 100. The job of an elephant is to step on things. Um, the extra 20 gold for some more like strength and HP is dumb because um, elephants either win the battle quickly or lose the battle quickly. You don't need more HP. Um, but yeah, Kalem, th theirs will do the same. You can use them the same way. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something.